And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gangplank Nightfall. Sorry, we're going to have an aggressive version of Shadow Isles and Bilgewater together that also has some pretty good value cards. We got a bunch of new Shadow Isles cards in here that are all pretty awesome. Doom Beast, Draining the Enemy Nexus, Unspeakable Horror, um, be able to drain one and create a random Nightfall card in hand. And then, of course, Stalking Shadows, a card that I'm really big on. Um, so definitely like all these brand new uh, Shadow Isles cards. But then we're going to have them <clears throat> with just the, the uh, Bilgewater core that we know is really good. Misfortune, Petty Officer, Yordle Grifter, Gangplank, all great cards. So I like I just like this combination and just like these um, seven in a row here. I mean, you can count like, you know, Make It Rain, of course, is, is really good as well. That's just eight, eight cards in a row. They're just always going to be awesome all the time. I think Arachnoid Horror is a really underrated card. It's a good fearsome uh, unit, good good card to have right away. Um, Deckhand is great with, with Make It Rain, and Deckhand can be very good with Misfortune as well. But other times, Deckhand may not be as good. Um, but then we also have Rekindler to bring back Gangplank or Misfortune, and of course, Riptide Rex at the top end. So we got some great top end with Rekindler and Riptide Rex as well. So let's go ahead and try some Gangplank Nightfall. Uh, we'll go on over. It's better than the 2-3. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe Deckhand's better than Hired Gun. I'm not sure Deckhand's better than Warden's Prey. Of us of getting another one drop in a deck like this. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I could see Warden's Prey with uh with the Um this Karma Maokai. Let me get rid of both unspeakable horrors against Karma Maokai. We'll see. Maybe they have like little units that we want to drain, but anyway, I could definitely see this supposed to be a one drop, like Warden's Prey, where Warden's Prey would be pretty awesome with uh, the the two mana card Stalking Shadows. That there we go. That's the name of the card. Also, just for con curve considerations and making Nightfall easier. And all that kind of stuff. And Warren's Prey is something easy to throw out with Misfortune as well. No prey, no pay. Time for That's unnecessary. I, I should just go deckhand, make it rain. <clears throat> All right, we'll have them use their mana. Alright, really good. That helps out a lot. Water changes but never breaks. Man, River Shaper is awesome. So by playing the the Jagged Butcher, pull them down. we can go with the other Mega Rain and have the Mega Rain and the Love Tap combined to kill these. Oh, kill the River Shaper! They don't get to draw a spell, and our Misfortune won't take any damage. That's a great card. Definitely hoping... That's also a great card. Both have great cards. Definitely hoping we hit the Allegiance. Yeah. Oh, man. If only we had that just a little bit ago. Oh, 
the flames nor the deaths can claim me. Heavy pockets, huh? That's a clutch deny. Nah, we don't need to use the any e mode there. That'd be rude. I'll be surprised if this isn't game. Or if it's, of course, if it's not, we still have like all these Doom Beasts and everything like that. Yeah. All right, well, I was saying that the deck hand maybe should be Warden Spray, but the deck hand was important of having Mega Rain trade up and kill the 3 2. So the, the deck hand did, did its job, it did, it did well. Ooh, this is always a deck that I struggle defeating, but always feels good to defeat. Hand is slow. We can mulligan everything. Could just keep, like, Yordle Grifter, because Yordle Grifter is great. I think I want to do that. That's just a baseline. Hmm. I'm gonna let them kill the powder keg. A lot of times you want to let them attack first and then and then play deck hand afterwards. <clears throat> but I'm gonna let them I'm gonna let them kill the powder keg. <clears throat> so I get that block in. Looking for trouble. Now against Petty Officer, I should not have blocked against other stuff. And even sentry. Okay, maybe I should not have blocked and just taken the two, and then I would have been able to attack. And then they would have traded. So basically, I would, they would have taken one life, and I would have taken two life. I know what I'm doing. I mean, my my plan is honestly just stay, you know, stay alive, get to a later game, have rip tight racks, and everything. No. Yeah, Twisted Fate Swain is is definitely a really good deck. That's a it's a top meta deck for sure. I'm always up for a round or two. Soak it in. Yeah, the allegiance is pretty low in this deck. I could definitely see Zap Sprayfin being better. Now I know it's not as good with Riptide Rex. I don't know. I guess Stalking Shadows with that is awesome. With the Ordal Grifter, that is. <clears throat> Man, these are both good. These are both good. Yordle Grifter has higher upside. I'm going to take the Yordal Grifter. If only you wouldn't miss Yordle Grifter. Can't miss forever. No, there hasn't been any new announcement of any new event like the Cherry Blossom event. Or Spirit Blossom, I guess. Not Cherry Blossom. Spirit Blossom event. Boys. There's no new events like that right now. It'd be nice to find removal spells. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Uh, not a removal spell. Gets yours. 
you know, we could go like arachnoid horror and now nah, we can't I guess we can't go horror petty officer doom beast. That's too much Return to us. There's probably gonna be another event like that Delphinus there just hasn't been anyone announced yet, but I'm sure there will be one later. I mean, maybe we won't get another one until closer to holiday season, like a, you know, Halloween event or Thanksgiving or Christmas or something like that. Like maybe you, maybe that's when the next event will be. Don't know yet. Their time has come. Come to the light. You're welcome. I will break Empire above all. My time. Victory. So they're going to be able to hit me with Swain. So their Twisted Fate's pretty close to leveling up. The Swain's about to do a bunch of damage to me. Life's not going great. But Riptide Rex is here to try to save the day. You better kill Swain. Okay. Hopefully no... Um, hopefully no Leviathan. Or... Riptide Rex. Either one of those. Hopefully none of those on their end. Yuck. We can speed this up. Yeah, Stalking Shadows into Riptide Rex. That is pretty awesome. Stalking Shadows is just a great card. Definitely see the use of Stalking Shadows here. Um, nine mana, so like three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, well we can't play all of those, so we can play Jagged Butcher, not Petty, not or yeah, Jagged Butcher. It's a good one drop. Never mind, the two cards that I said I don't want them to have, they just have both of them. So they can block two things. Strains for two. I know about two of these warning shots. Hopefully all this damage happens. Darn. Not gonna quite get there. So close. I guess that technically only does three damage. No. Man. So close. I know that was my, my that was my plan was to, to play the deck hand if we had a chance, but you know we didn't didn't have a chance to play deck hand, but that was my pass. Or that was my plan. Um <clears throat> I 
mean, we did have a really slow opener with that one. Not sure about these rekindlers. They're so slow. It's like, like we're just a, a... We have so many expensive cards for our Misfortune deck. I don't know. Like, would Twisted Fate be better than Misfortune if we're just going to be real slow like this? We have, we've played a whole lot of different Teemo decks recently, Yasin X. Um, check out the YouTube channel over over there. there we've played a lot of Teemo. Recently, uh, we played a Teemo Swain Control and a Teemo Nightfall. Alright, we'll get back to work. Sorry, I was helping chat. Petty Officer is awesome. It just brings always brings like good quality one mana cards. Ill met by moonlight. Deckhand does help with unspeakable horror, having a strain too. the two from Diana. <clears throat> I was hoping they'd miss. At least they don't get to gain any life. They're at 20. Hopefully we get to play Misfortune before combat and then have make it rain with the powder keg with the other Misfortune with the champion spell. Ours is the one true light. Twisted Fate definitely would have been better with gold card. At, I don't know. This isn't really a Twisted Fate deck, but that card's great. Maybe it's Callista. Maybe this is a Callista deck. I'm gonna catch you. So yes, I could warning shot and drain two instead of draining one, but there's not really a reason to because they're probably gonna heal their two from their nexus anyway. So we might as well just hold on to the warning shot. And be able to use that later. <clears throat> cool. That's going to be a big help. We need that life gain. And that Nexus heal. That's fine. He's still going to do 11 damage to him. Or 12 damage to him. <clears throat> right, the love tap. And they didn't get to draw a card off of that Pale Cascade, so that's good. So while we could rekindle her, 
Doom Beast is a better card in this scenario <clears throat> for us. So we're gonna Doom Beast. Okay, they're not Doom Beasting. I want to use their ephemeral Doom Beast, I guess. I'll take my time. Which does mean they're likely dead. Because the they didn't play their Doom Beast. GG's. Alright, 2 and 1. This deck has a lot of power. Yeah, they need they need to to play that and heal a little bit. Kind of like keeping two misfortunes because the other one could be a make it rain. But it does feel like our deck needs another one drop. We haven't had a. Like we haven't played a one drop the whole time. We just have a couple jagged butchers. Does seem like we need another. Maybe the onlooker actually. I was saying I was thinking Warden's Prey, but actually onlooker with the four with the fearsome. The you know you can that's a great card with stalking shadows and making them like four one fearsomes. It's actually probably the onlooker. I don't think I want to play Deckhand. Ugh, that was a good card to steal. Now we'll play it. They'll kill my Powder Keg, but that'll save, you know, basically using this to gain 3 life, right? Like a 2 mana, 2-2 two, two, gain 3 life over not playing it. Well, I'm definitely glad we played it now. That is pretty aggressive. Too big. You wanted wrath. Care is the lot of you. Safety will cost you. Ooh. Now 
It's a good draw too. Because my cards are awesome. That's a good draw too. Wow. Um, okay, we'll take it. Doesn't turn on um, plunder, but we can play the Doom Beast, turn on plunder. Of course, because I want to save Warning Shot Riptide Rex for next turn. Those both five now? Yep, those are both five. Mine will be at five after I play Doom Beast. Looker is awesome. They got that with for free with unspeakable horror. What's your wager? One good turn, hey friendo. This means they won't be able to use Sleep of the Fishes. And they won't have very much life. For Riptide Rex. Oh, wow. You can't. Uh, I guess, I mean, that's... Oh, wow. Yeah, just go down to one. <laughs> And that should finish the game with a cannon barrage. Finish it out. Doom Beast with Bilgewater has looked really good. And so is Stalking Shadows. That, that card also is awesome. Cool, thanks, Noise. So, okay, so if you have a le leveled up Karma, play something on Taric, and then attack with Taric, it will cast it twice with a leveled up Karma. Good to know. You just don't ever have anything to do on turn one or turn two. Stalking Shadows, I guess, counts, but I don't want to use my mana right early for Stalking Shadows. We need to use mana early on other stuff. I oh, don't know, I feel like Stalking Shadows is too good. Ugh. I am not liking this Rekindler. It's just too expensive. used to be Jack. Yeah, it's still just, just an expensive card. I think it needs to be something that costs like one or two. I mean, maybe we're just getting some bad variants, but we're, we're just never having things before turn three. But with that being said, we still have, um, you know, like the, you know, after turn three, we got a lot of great stuff in the deck, so maybe it doesn't matter that much because we have all of our um, different spells that we're just, you know, we're not playing stuff early, but we're just getting spell mana for all of these things. And so maybe that's perfectly fine. 
So, of course, I wanted to use the Unspeakable Horror on the Scythria. That was the plan. It's going to be a 4 5 fearsome. Like, that's not bad. An on curve 4 5 fearsome. Oh. It's got to be Nightfall, though. Alright, never mind. It's not going to be that. We're not going to have that on curve. Demacian needs heroes. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. I guess we'll take Cythria. Didn't attack with Quinn. I don't even know if playing Cythria is better than having, like, you know, Stalking Shadow, Petty Officer, that kind of stuff. I don't even know if Cythria is better. The quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Well, that definitely made Cythria better. Ugh. Feel pretty good about this, finishing the game out with Rex. And again, feel pretty good about that. See, this Quinn's about to level up, and that will challenge the 6-6. Six, six. Um... Jagged Butchers is not that important. I was hoping for Doom Beast. That's what that's what I was hoping for. Surprised. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to do that block. Let me just take the three. A little surprised that Quinn isn't doing the scout attack with having the barrier and get a Valor and get a Valor again. Prepare for combat. I'm a little surprised about that. Ah! This has got to be Riptide Rex first. I haven't, like, played an Ephemeral Riptide Rex before, and that's really the only reason why I played the Ephemeral Riptide Rex instead of the regular one. A regular one would have been better, but I haven't played an Ephemeral one before, so I just wanted to do that and show off. So yeah, this deck felt really strong. It just felt like I needed like one more one drop, maybe just a couple of copies. So maybe like instead of Rekindler. So like taking out Rekindler and playing Onlooker, for example, you know, either that or Warden Spray, you know, like playing one of these two. I think these are the two best one drops. Um, yeah, those, 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 these would be the two best. So, you know, like either Warden Spray or Onlooker. If you take out Rekindler and play the one drop, that's definitely going to help you with the early game. It's going to help you curve out better, um, and it'll help you get ahead and all that kind of stuff. But it'll be worse against Control. Uh, it'll be worse against very slow decks, because um, Re Rekindler does, uh, you know, it does help out quite a bit there against the slow decks. Warden's Prey is better against slow decks than Onlooker is. 
So if you want, like, you know, to kind of help still with that, Warden's Prey would be better because, you know, it not only, you know, it can just keep on getting you more uh, value with more Last Breath followers. Um, uh, but I'm not sure. That, that's, that would help there. Um, let's see. But maybe it's better just that, like, it didn't seem like, like, even if even if you don't play anything early, as we talked about the last game, and just save your spell mana, you do have a good amount of spells with Make It Rain, Stalking Shadows, and Unspeakable Horror. Those are all good spells that you get to play, that you get to use that spell mana. Those are all uh, cards that are very good to have. Um... You know, Riptide Rex does add it, or Rekindler does add in even more power i don't know if there's like a way to really reduce the shadow isles cards i think you're just going to miss with the order grifter sometimes you know about a third of the time you'll be missing i mean because arachnoid horror is just you know just better than the other two drops arachnoid horror is awesome <clears throat> and definitely want to play doom like doom beast unspeakable horror and stalking shadows are all amazing like we're not cutting any of those so i definitely like those 12 I'd, you know rekindler is my least favorite Shadow Owls card. So if you want to play a Bilgewater card instead of Rekindler, feel free. Whether that's, you know, Zap's Brayfin, maybe. Um, talked about maybe Jack the Winner. Like, those are options. Rekindler is going to be stronger, but of course it does make your Yorl Grifter a little worse. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think Arachnoid Horror is better than, than Hired Gun. Yeah, I, I think that's a better card. Higher Gun does work well with Misfortune, uh, against, and it works well against small units, but um, Arachnoid Horror does put a lot more pressure on them. Like a 2-3 is just like pretty bland and just doesn't really attack very well. Um, it's <clears throat> like Higher Gun's like better later in the game, like when you, you can use that Vulnerable to your advantage like late in the game, but on turn 2 you want Arachnoid Horror. Like this is just a much better card on turn 2. All right, but there's Gangplank Nightfall. Definitely felt like a really strong deck. One of the one of the better decks that we have played recently. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and give this one a try. Feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know how it goes for you. Um, hopefully it goes well. And, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think of Rekindler um, or anything else. I'd love, uh, love seeing that feedback. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Gangplank Nightfall, and I'll see you for the next video.